Right, what's up? Oh. Went a little bit too far on that one. Hmm. Just notice how I am uh, clashing here with the colors. I got yellow helmet, yellow shirt, yellow bike. I'm all yellowed out. What's up guys, it's me, Eric B, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I have my GoPro set up on my helmet and on my bike whenever I'm doing moto vlogging. Had a couple people request uh, that I do this video, so uh, I'm gonna show you how I have mine set up. So I will show you how I had it, have it set up on my helmet, and then we'll jump into the settings on the GoPro and show you how I have that set up for whenever I do my moto vlogs. Coming up. All right, party people! Oh. All right, sorry about that. Too much coffee. Okay, so on my helmet right now, I have the GoPro Hero 7. I have two of these, so one for the helmet and then one for the windscreen of the bike so I can get that other angle whenever I'm doing moto vlogging. I like having two different angles. Um, so. On the helmet right now, as you can see, how I have it set up is I have it directly um, in the front of the helmet. Some people like to do like a side mount or something like that, but I think this works best for me. Um, you can also have it to where it's set up uh, you, where you can take the actual, uh, the sticky part of the mount and put it kind of on the side of the helmet here. And there's a mount that you can buy where it kind of wraps around to the front. I didn't really like that. I kind of wanted to keep everything close to the helmet. So what I ended up doing was stuck the actual mount to the front, but since I have like that beak, um, I guess kind of uh, formation on the helmet and it doesn't really completely stick to the front, I had to go with uh, some stuff called Su glue or Sur glue or something like that to that effect. Um, you can find it on Amazon or anywhere like that and basically just take it and mold it um, to the sides and let it dry so that way it fills in all that uh, gap in that area that's open and then keeps it from moving. Um, I've done that on uh, my piece of GPR and on my, um, my uh, K1 as well. So I have that set up like that and then I basically just take a J hook, I think that's what it's called, and uh, I use that on the front. I don't know how well you guys can see this but uh, hopefully it kind of paints the picture for you of how I have it set up. And then I have my GoPro uh, mic adapter um, Velcroed here to the side. And then I don't have everything hooked up completely, but then I just run the cable to the mic um, underneath. So as I said before in one of my previous videos, I'm using the Purple Panda mic. And that mic is awesome. I heard a lot of other people are using it as well. And I basically just have it inside of the helmet here, um, kind of tucked on the side of the pad, but kind of almost to where it's kind of in front of my mouth but off to the side um, and then just tuck the rest of the cabling in behind it and then just run the cable into there so that is how I have the helmet set up um, for that now for the for the bike itself I have this uh, little mount that has has a swivel um, capability on it so you can purchase that. Uh, I got this at uh, Best Buy. I think you can order it anywhere pretty much. Um, and this thing is awesome because you can put it on like something like the front of the bike here and then you can rotate it so you can turn it and then you can kind of maneuver it to where it'll fit to where it, it looks at you at a, at a decent angle. So you can't do it with the standard one because it'll be looking too far up. Um, but if you have this one, then you can maneuver it and then move it down to where you need it to go. All right guys, I hope you can see this pretty good. So once you get your GoPro open, go in and hit that settings tab down at the bottom. This will bring up the settings menu. And right off the bat, make sure that ProTune is set to on, which mine currently is. And this will bring up all the options for you to um, change manually. So starting off with the resolution, I typically film in 2.7K, 24 frames per second. Um, this is just due to my uh, SD card. I want to make sure I have enough uh, space on it when I record. But every now and again, I might do 4K. And that's just the maximum resolution. Even though I output in 1080 whenever I upload to YouTube, it just makes uh, 
it makes everything still look pretty good. You take a 4K file and uh, squish it all down to 1080, it still looks pretty good. Now, when I'm just filming and I'm not moto vlogging or anything like that, and I just wanna have a camera just for in case whatever, I usually just film that in 1080 just so I have more space to keep rolling. But that is completely on you um, and your card size. Next thing is the field of view. So I keep it in super view for both uh, my helmet and when I have it on the motorcycle. I just want to have that, um, you know, the biggest field of view that I can have so you can see everything around me. Uh, stabilization I leave on auto. Shutter speed, I will leave that on auto, but it just depends. So if I'm using an ND filter, so I can, if I'm filming at 24 frames per second, I like to film at one over 48th or one over 50 if you're on a, a normal DSLR, but these GoPros only go to 148. Um, sometimes that works. So if you, you know your environment and everything's gonna be set and the ND filter you're using, you can keep it on that. But typically I will just leave auto and let the GoPro figure it out for me. And that usually turns out pretty good. Uh, as far as white balance goes, oh, let's go back here. All right, so as far as white balance goes, I keep that on auto as well, but you can also adjust that to keep that on manual as well. So you can go, depending on, you know, if it's day, if it's sunny outside and you want it to be daylight, or if it's cloudy, you can increase the, uh, the white balance there. But typically I'll go either between 5,500 Kelvin or 4,500, depending on, you know, if it's cloudy or if it's sunny outside. Nine times out of 10, it's always good to keep that on auto as well. ISO, I keep that as low as I can go because you want your picture to be pretty clean. So I'll keep that at 100. And then max, I will usually just go 400. But if I know it's going to be dark outside, um, I'll run it up to 1600. That way you can kind of see headlights and stuff like that a little bit better. GoPros aren't the greatest at night. They're not good at low light. But I will usually keep that set at 400 for the max. But once again, completely on you. A lot of this stuff is subjective and it's on, on the rider. Um, sharpness, I like to keep it on medium. Um, most people keep it on low and you can adjust it um, in post. You can always add sharpening, but you can't take it away. But I like to keep mine on medium. Then as you see here for the color, I use GoPro color. Um, it has the most uh, saturation and the best color and everything. And you don't have to color grade it as much or not at all if you don't want to. Um, depending on what I'm shooting, sometimes I will shoot flat. And if you go in here and you can pick flat and it'll just, it looks like a, a crappy, milky <laughs> looking uh, uh, video footage once you uh, pull it out of the camera. And that's just gives you more options in post to, to mess with as far as exposure and color grading and things like that. But typically keep it in GoPro uh, color. And for the audio, I keep the raw audio off. And then for the mics, because you'll be using a uh, GoPro mic adapter when you hook it up, make sure it's in stereo and not wind because you won't get any sound uh, out of it if it's set to wind. And then real quick, I wanna show you too, for the audio piece, you're gonna have to click on preferences and go down to input output and then make sure that, which it won't do it when it's, uh, it's weird because it has to be plugged in to the actual uh, adapter in order to show it, but you need to make sure that the, um, the setting for the mic is set to standard. So there'll be a, a couple other ones, but standard is what you wanna go with. And like I said, right now I can't show you because it's not plugged into the actual adapter. All right. So as you already know, I have the uh, AGV K1. That helmet's not too bad. Uh, this helmet f feels a lot better. Uh, as far um, it just detaches with uh, little levers on the sides. Because um, I was also looking at getting the uh, the Atlas, the Ruroc Atlas helmet. I didn't like how you have to use a uh, Allen key to, to take that off, to take the visor on and off. All right guys, I hope this video was helpful enough for you. I'll be sure to leave some of the items down in the description below. Like always, please like and subscribe and leave me a comment and let me know what you guys think about the setup. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.